take your protein. You might have heard that piece of advice floating around. And indeed it is true. You should aim to hit your daily protein target depending on your body weight, physical activity and as advised by your doctor. Not only if you are an athlete or want to bulk up muscles, but also if you dance, go for a morning walk, swim, do yoga or simply hit your target of 10,000 steps every day. But truth be told, it's a bit difficult to do that solely through your diet. So what's an easy and convenient way out? No points for guessing, taking protein powder. It's all the rage. It's simply having a protein shake every day that can keep you healthier perhaps. Then what's the harm in taking that route, you might think. And that is where many go wrong because brands sell you this idea of a protein-packed drink. But that is not the complete truth. The labels of your beloved protein powders might be hiding a lot of things, things that you should not be consuming perhaps, that are harmful to your health and are putting you at risk. I'm not the one saying that. A study published in the peer-reviewed journal Medicine has made these revelations. Researchers analyzed 36 different brands of protein powders, including those containing herbal and dietary supplements like vitamins, minerals, several other natural or synthetic ingredients. These were few of the most popular protein powders sold and consumed in India. And guess what the study found? Basically, that 70% of these supplements were lying to their customers. A whopping 70%. They had inaccurate protein information. Some brands offered only half of what they claimed. For example, if the label said every scoop of the powder contains 24 grams of protein, it would only offer 12 gram or less. At least nine of the reviewed brands had less than 40% detected protein content. Two products from one manufacturer fell 50% and 60% below the advertised protein content. Meanwhile, certain protein brands were found to contain more than the labeled protein content. This could mean two things. Either they used good quality protein sources for manufacturing or they were turning to protein or amino spiking. This is a trick that supplement manufacturers commonly use. They intentionally add cheaper protein components like amino acids, glycine, and taurine to deceptively showcase higher protein content. When in truth, they will not serve any benefit to the consumers. And that's not all. Around 14% of samples contained harmful fungal aflatoxins. Aflatoxins. While 8% show traces of pesticide residue. And for those who don't know, Aflatoxins are poisonous, cancer-causing substances. You would have never guessed it, right? That your daily dose of health could actually perhaps be giving you cancer. Clinical researchers associated with Raja Giri Hospital in Kerala have claimed that most Indian-made herbal protein-based supplements are poor quality. Some even contain liver-toxic botanicals. And let me tell you, these brands included protein supplements from all kinds of sources. Now, the common assumption is that animal-based proteins are bad. But what if plant-based and herbal supplements are equally bad? The thing is, there is very little research as far as this field is concerned, especially in the Asia-Pacific region. We don't exactly know full implications of taking protein supplements. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India also does not approve herbal and dietary supplements. It regulates good manufacturing practices. The safety of the contents in the protein supplements must be assured by the manufacturer itself. The FSSAI scrutinizes the content and labeling of the product. The factor that makes such products, products ready for the market are good manufacturing practices. And that is risky because can you really trust manufacturers? And would they be willing to reveal the real quality of their products? Because making profit is their only concern and they cut manufacturing costs wherever they can. They would rather mix questionable ingredients in their protein powders to make extra dollars perhaps. Trust me, brands have been found guilty of that. So next time you go shopping for protein, don't trust the label blindly.
To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.